Hello, this is Don Campbell, and thanks for watching this Expand to Web video screencast. I get a lot of questions from readers on my blog who are using the Thesis WordPress theme, and they want to know how to add an additional navigation menu item that doesn't link to a WordPress page. So I thought I'd record a real short video that shows how to do this. So for example, this menu item in my nav bar, it doesn't link to a WordPress page, it actually links to um, it links to some user forms that I have set up using PHP BB. And so a lot of people are asking me, well how did you do that? Um, how do you how do you make it link? So I thought I'd just walk through three simple steps. First of all, just go to your thesis options panel in WordPress. And scroll down in this this center column here, you're gonna see that um, Got this option to add more links. If you expand on this text, this is kind of a cool thing that the thesis theme allows you to do. You can actually click that plus sign there and it gives you some more details about everything. <clears throat> so I'm actually looking here under this add more links section, right? And what I can do here is create, uh, it tells you you've got to do a couple of things to set this up. The default is set at no additional links, but what we're going to do is go into create a new link category in WordPress and then we'll go in and we'll um, we'll create the link that we want so let's go up here to this section that is called links um, it's right here over on the left hand side of the nav and once we expand this you'll see in a second right here that I've got a bunch of links already uh, what we need to do is actually go to link categories and create a new link category that has a specific name to it. You can see I've got it created here already, but if you wanted to create a new one, you just enter in these fields and be done. It takes a second, but it has to be called this um, additional menu items. So that's the name that this category has got to be, right? Once you create that category, you can add new links. And these new links, um, if you assign to that category, they'll show up on your menu. So here's where I would go add a new link. I'd say, let's see, um, let me go to the forums. I'm going to go to, this could be any URL, right? So it doesn't have to be a WordPress page. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and say um, forums, put a little description in here. And then the important thing is right here, I say, I want to add it to this additional menu items category. Right. And once I do that, I'm going to actually have a link in here that shows up under that category. So if I go look at my links, um, I've got a whole bunch of them here that I'm, uh, but this is the one right here. So I'm going to go edit. This one's called forums, and you'll see that it links to, it links to this specific page, right? Now when I go back to the thesis options again. Here you're going to see a drop down that has my category in it. So here's my additional menu items category that I've created. And all you need to do is select it. Anything that, any link that is tagged with that category is now going to show up on the navigation menu. And so that's how this was added up to the top here. Um, you'll notice that these other pages, uh, these other links just go to different WordPress pages, right? So these are pages on my site, like my contact form and my about page. <clears throat> But so, you know, by using that additional category, link category, and link, then you can link to pretty much any URL that you want from your nav item and thesis. All right, thanks for watching, and uh, any questions, leave them in the comments below. Thanks.